Hi, welcome back to Afternoon on Air. I'm Parker Wetzel. And I'm Gwyneth McMahon. Please stand for the pledge or observe a moment of reflection. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's what's trending. Last week, Atherton's TSA team competed for two days at the state competition. I'm really glad we got third place. It was really stressful um, because like we did well in the first competition, but it was only the top eight who got to go to finals. And we were really scared that after finals, we weren't gonna place in the top three. Um, it was really fun, uh, especially with all the people who went. I love all the people who went. They were, it was so, it was such a fun experience. I'm so excited for next year. It's gonna be so fun. I'm actually really happy we got third place. Uh, I was on the team last year as well, and we didn't place at all. So the fact that we even got anything was really amazing. Um, I was really happy with this team this year. Uh, me and Brian, uh, picked out our team and I think that really helped like keep the chemistry really well and so we did you know really well so I was really proud of us. Overall I'd say it was a very just good experience. Um, I'm very happy for like I'm excited for next year because even though I won't be here I know that next year they'll do really good because I mean we got second and third next year they'll definitely get first and second. Congrats to our engineering and aerospace engineering students. The unmanned aerial t vehicle teams placed second and third overall. Congrats to Brian Fuentes and Ruby Corman for second place, and congrats to Hannah Francis and Kaylin Johnson for taking third place. Please check the lost and found in the front office for any items you may have lost. Any unclaimed items will be sent to the closed closet tomorrow. Today after school, our Raven softball team is playing at Ballard High School at 6, and we have a baseball game at Washington County at 5.30. This Friday, we will have a home baseball game against Lyle, a school from Illinois, at 5. And this Saturday, we have a basketball game at Butler High School at 3. We know everyone is excited for spring break, and we are too. But we are also very curious about where people are going during the break. Let's take it to the halls to find out how people will spend their break. I'm going to PCB with my friends. Oh? Yeah. Uh, we got an Airbnb, there's about 12 of us, and we're going to get turned, we're going to get lit, hey. we're going to get crunk, you know? Sounds yeah. really fun. Uh, I have a friend's wedding that I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to go out of town to Cincinnati and Bowling Green, just kind of bebop around a little bit. Congratulations to your friend. Um, I'm going to Michigan, the Tour University of Michigan, and I'm celebrating my 17th birthday and going out of town for the eclipse. Happy early birthday! A whole lot of sleeping, doing some pottery, and probably doing some projects around my house and working out. I see. It. I'm going to do a lot of sleeping too. <laughs> <laughs> I love sleep. It's my favorite. So for spring break, I'm going with my mom to Cancun. We're staying at the Diamond Moon Resort, which is pretty fun, I guess. That sounds fun. I know. Uh, I'm currently working on my National Board's teaching certificate, Ooh. so I'm going to be writing a lot. So nothing too exciting, but hopefully go to the park with my dog some. Good luck. Thanks. Sounds like people are going to have fun over break. I know I will. Congratulations to all in track and field athletes who competed in the Oldham County kickoff meet last Saturday. Top performers were Jovante Wales, who won first place in the 110 meter hurdles and the 300 meter hurdles. Daria Drake, who won first place in the 3200 meter run, and Lucy Zachary, who took second place in the 100 meter hurdles. Way to go, Ravens. Let's take it to Lily McCreary to tell us the word of the day. Today's word of the day is dialect. Dialect is a noun, meaning the unique way a language is spoken in a particular region. Thank you, Lily. We have some birthdays today. Happy birthday to Dorothy Dweez and Azam Tashna. That's all for today's Atherton On Air. I'm Gwyneth McMahon. And I'm Parker Wetzel. Rock on, Raven.